Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a very simple advertisement design. And uh, hopefully this will be very helpful to improve your Photoshop skills and also your designing skills. Uh, and this PST file will be available for my Patreon supporter. And if you want to check my Patreon, the link is in the description list below. And also if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe my channel. And with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that let's go to file click on new and I'll just go with 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. Now let's go over here and let's add a gradient and from here let's go for a basic gradient like that and then for this one let's change it to radial and for the white color let's change it to kind of lighter color and for this one let's go for for a little click like this and maybe let's change it to kind of more white yep let's like that and let's click it OK and let's make it even you can just change the scale to yep let's keep it like that and let's click on OK and right after that let's drag and drop this uh, uh, phone mockup right over here and let's convert it as a smart object and control T let's make it a little smaller just like so and let's keep it right around here and control T let's do some uh, skew just like that maybe let's push it back just like so let's click OK and then let's go over here let's add a quick selection and let's select this white part and let's make a copy control J and let's rename it as a image mat and let's go over here and let's drag and drop this main background right over here and let's clip it click it let's keep it on above this image mat and let's right click click on create clipping max so that's this image will remain inside this shape now control t let's make it a little smaller just just like so and maybe let's make a copy control J and let's keep this under this layer or maybe under this layer and let's create a layer max and again let's go over here let's make a selection right and then let's fill it with black control G and again let's go to brush and let's go for uh, a white color and let's rebuild some of these parts back just just like so and again for this part let's erase these parts I think we don't need those anymore And again for this one we're gonna uh, cover up with some other clouds images later so let's keep it like that and anyway we're gonna tweak this later and before that let's go over here and let's get let's click the layer and let's go to select and let's click on select subject and let's click on layer max let's go to V let's move it to and this comp and let's keep it all the way to the top just like that and control T let's make it a little smaller just like so yep like that maybe let's add a little rotation
rotation just like so and again let's create a layer max let's go to this layer go to brush and let's do an inverse selection Control shift i and then let's erase these parts so it will just be inside this cell phone yep let's keep it like that Control d and let's go over here create a new layer and go to brush and let's add some particle right over here so for that i'm going to use uh, this particle explosion brush and let's go for let's make it a little smaller and let's add some snow particles right over here maybe right one right over here and then maybe one right over here let's go to the very bottom let's create a one more layer and again add some particles right over here let's go on the very bottom create a new layer go to brush and let's go with another brush maybe uh, let's see let's go with this one let's create a little smaller size and let's add some and let's change the color to kind of darker color and let's add one right over here and let's go over here create a one more layer and again add a, a one more particle right over here and for this let's change the color overlay to white something like that and let's go over here create a one more layer again go to brush and let's add some clouds so for that i'm going to use uh, the cloud brush so let's go over here and let's see let's let's go for this one let's make it a little smaller maybe let's add a little rotation and let's change the color to pure white maybe something like that and then let's create a one more layer let's add one on the very bottom maybe right around here and i think like the background is too bright let's make it a little darker so let's go over here and let's make it a more let's go for a little darker tone i guess yep something something like that and for for the center one let's make it a little brighter let's keep it like that and i think the clouds are a little too much so let's get rid of some of these elements so yeah, let's remove that one again maybe for this one too maybe it's too much Control t let's make it a little smaller and let's add one right over here only just like so and maybe let's keep this under this image let's go on very top let's go over here go to edit go to fill and let's fill it with 50 percent gray and let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's do some dodge and burn so let's go over here uh add a dodge tool and let's add some dodge right over here and maybe some right over here too And let's do some burn. Just like so. And then uh, let's go over here and let's add. Let's go over here. Let's make a selection like that and let's create a layer max v let's move it and let's keep it right over here Control t let's make it a little smaller and let's keep this all the way to the bottom right around here
Well, let's add some text. So go over here and let's add some text. Let's merge everything, Control shift alt and e and let's make a copy, Control j Now let's select the layer, go to Filter, let's go to Camera Raw Filter. And from here, let's go to the Basic tab, let's increase the clarity just a little bit and let's increase the vibrance. And let's go to Color Mixture and from here, uh, let's change the hue to maybe maybe something like that I think looks better and let's click on OK so yep that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you in the next video bye bye